What's up team? Today we're solving absolute value equations. Quick review. An absolute value is the distance uh, away from zero. The number's distance away from zero. So for example, these, these are the absolute value bars. It's how we signal that, hey, we're talking about absolute value here. The absolute value of positive 24 is 24. That's the distance away from zero. In the same way, the absolute value of negative 24 is also 24 because it's the distance away from zero. So I drew a number line here. My tick marks are every five. And I've uh, I plotted negative 24 and positive 24 uh, just to show what's going on here, what, we're, uh, what these symbols are really representing. We are saying that the distance from negative 24 to zero it's, it's, a, it's a distance, it's a length that we're talking about. It's 24 units in length. That's positive 24 because distance must also always be positive. In the same way, the distance from zero to positive 24 is also 24. So here's a graphic representation that uh, explains what's going on with both of these examples. So that's a quick refresher on what absolute values are. Now let's get into solving equations that have absolute values in them. It's kind of a sneaky technique that we, uh, that we use. The math itself, not crazy. It's uh, like a lot of algebra. It's just remembering the details and making sure you don't lose any of your pieces. So here we go. We'll start off kind of simple. The absolute value of x equals 24. So what value of x makes this equation true? Well, we know that the, the distance away from zero is 24. So what value of x has a distance away from zero that's 24? Well, 24 is true, but also negative 24 is true. And let me show you how to find that algebraically so that you can expand it to some larger problems. We actually split this problem into two separate pieces. Um, so let me show you what that looks like. So we'll drop the absolute value bars and we will say x equals 24. And then because we know um, we, we need to go both ways on the number line, both ways from zero, meaning to the negative side and to the positive side, we're also going to say that x equals negative 24. And in this particular problem, we started with kind of a softball. Um, it, it's complete. We're done. We actually solved for both x's. So what's true is x equals 24 and x equals negative 24. Um, another way you could write this if you watched the last video or remember the last lesson with square roots we can say x equals plus or minus 24. These two responses are equivalent, they mean the same thing. Okay, let's kick it up a notch, that one's a little bit trivial, um, but it gets, uh, gets the ball rolling for us. So here we have x plus six equals 16. So this distance is x plus six, uh, and we know that it's 16 units away from, uh, from, the, from the zero on the number line. So in the same way, we're gonna split this up into two different equations. We're going to say that x plus 6 equals 16. And then we're going to say that, well, x plus 6 can also equal negative 16. And then we solve each of these equations, the red and the blue. We solve them independently, and we're going to get two different responses. So the first move here is we'll, uh, we'll subtract 6 from both sides for the red one. And then we see pretty quickly that x equals 10. This is one solution that makes the equation true. Let's look at the blue one. We'll subtract six from both sides. It's the same move, but it's taken us to a different place uh, because six minus six is zero. So X is what remains on the left, but now we have negative 16 minus six. We have a negative initial value that gets negative or it gets further away from zero. So negative 16 minus six is negative 22. So the solution to this equation or the solutions plural is X equals 10 and X equals negative 22. And you can check that. Uh, if we just plug in 10 for x, right, well, the, the solution to the red one, 10 plus 6, well, that's 16. The absolute value of 16 is indeed 16. Okay, cool. Let's check the blue one because this one feels a little weird, right? Negative 22, how does that fit? So negative 22 is what we plug in for x. Negative 22 plus 6. So it's a negative initial value, but you're getting closer to 0. So negative 22 plus 6 is negative 16. The absolute value of negative 16 is 16 because remember the absolute value is the distance so that's why there are two solutions and that's why these are the correct solutions for this here problem one more and we'll wrap this thing up two uh sorry the absolute value of 2x minus 6 equals 11. so we say that 2x minus 6 equals positive 11 and then we say that 2x minus 6 equals negative 11. Solve each of them independently, two different solutions. Here we go. 
add 6, add 6. We see that 2x equals 17. And then we'll divide both sides by 2. When you divide this side by 2, x is what remains. Divide this side by 2. Kind of annoying. It's an odd, odd number being halved or being divided by 2. Um, well, I know half of 16 is 8 because 8 times 2 is 16. And so I think this one here, half of 17, is going to be 8.5 or 8.5. Okay. Add 6. Add 6. We learn that 2x equals... Well, negative 11 plus 6, so it's a negative initial value, and we're getting closer to 0. So it's negative 5. Divide both sides by 2. And we see that x equals, well, it's negative divided by positive, so we know the result will be negative. Half of 5, I think that's 2 and a half. So two solutions, x equals 8.5, x equals negative 2.5. And you can check it, again, just by plugging each of these in to the initial equation. And you would see inside the radical, one of these would yield positive 11, one of these would yield negative 11, and the absolute value of both of those is um, 11. Okay, this is how to solve equations using or that involve absolute values. Uh, check out the practice problems. Let me know if you have questions. You got this.